I'm Tony Sycamore, Senior Market Analyst at IG Australia. US equity markets locked in robust gains last week, aided by a dovish outcome at the FOMC meeting. Fed Chair Powell noted that firm inflation data of late had not changed its overall trend lower and that the path of inflation towards its 2% target will be a bumpy road. In theory, this reduces the importance of this week's core PCE inflation data, which, as we know, is the Fed's preferred measure of inflation. However, at the end of last week, there were some signs of some disagreement within the Fed's ranks, as Atlanta Fed President Bostich said he now expects just one rate cut this year and that this was based on the US economy's continued resilience. This in itself suggests there might be less tolerance for an upside surprise in this week's core PCE inflation data. Let's look now at the chart of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ to see where they are as we start the new week. Okay, so this time last week, we were potentially looking at some loss of momentum reversal candles. These two red candles here that formed over the previous fortnight are often a sign of a pullback or a reversal that may be about to occur. But we did say we needed to see some downside follow through. And as we can see here that after the FOMC meeting, the S&P exploded to fresh all-time highs. In terms of that pullback, there just wasn't enough substance behind it to see it break below our pivot or the level that we had been highlighting coming in around 50-50-ish to 50-40-ish. Uh, after a couple of looks lower into the end of the previous week, the S&P 500 just continued higher towards those new highs. Now, what that suggests to me is that we do expect to see dips likely to be supported uh, back towards this 5180 area and certainly back towards 5100. And providing we don't see a break below this support here, I think you probably look for the S&P 500 to push towards new highs up towards 53.50. For the NASDAQ, a similar situation. These two red candles were potentially warning of loss of momentum slash reversal. Now, we did speak about the fact that we needed to see some downside follow through. And that downside follow through was below this 17,750 area, which I've highlighted here. Uh, it just wasn't able to get below those areas. And as we said, the FOMC meeting certainly saw a new push to uh, record highs. And as we look to start this week, well, I think you're probably going to look to see dips well supported initially back into this area here, which is probably around 18,200-ish, but certainly back towards 18,000. And Really, until the NASDAQ can break below these lows of March, then you have to look for the NASDAQ to push towards new highs, potentially up towards 18,750. Thank you for listening and have a good week ahead. 